Stomata and Hydathode. In botany, a stoma, pl, stomata, from Greek sigma tau mu alpha, mouth, also called a stomate, pl, stomates, is a pore found in the epidermis of leaves, stems, and other organs that controls the rate of gas exchange between the internal air spaces of the leaf and the atmosphere. The pore is bordered by a pair of specialized parenchyma cells known as guard cells that regulate the size of the stomatal opening. Types of stomata in angiosperms. It is based on the size, shape, and arrangement of the subsidiary cells that surround the two guard cells. They distinguish for dicots. Actinocytic, meaning star-celled, stomata have guard cells that are surrounded by at least five radiating cells forming a star-like circle. This is a rare type that can for instance be found in the family Ebonaceae. Anisocytic, meaning unequal celled, stomata have guard cells between two larger subsidiary cells and one distinctly smaller one. This type of stomata can be found in more than 30 dicot families, including Brassicaceae, Solanaceae, and Crassulaceae. It is sometimes called cruciferous type. Animocytic, meaning irregular celled, Stomata have guard cells that are surrounded by cells that have the same size, shape, and arrangement as the rest of the epidermis cells. This type of stomata can be found in more than a hundred dicot families such as Apocinaceae, Borogenaceae, Chinopodiaceae, and Cucurbitaceae. It is sometimes called the ranunculaceous type. Diacritic, meaning cross-celled, stomata have guard cells surrounded by two subsidiary cells, that each encircle one end of the opening and contact each other opposite to the middle of the opening. This type of stomata can be found in more than 10 dicot families as Caryophyllaceae and Acanthaceae. It is sometimes called Caryophyllaceous type. Hemiparasitic stomata are bordered by just one subsidiary cell that differs from the surrounding epidermis cells, its length parallel to the stoma opening. This type occurs in the Meligenaceae and Isoaceae. Parasitic, meaning parallel celled, stomata have one or more subsidiary cells parallel to the opening between the guard cells. These subsidiary cells may reach beyond the guard cells or not. This type of stomata can be found in more than a hundred dicot families Rubiaceae, Convolvulaceae, and Fabaceae. It is sometimes called rubiaceous type. In monocots, several different types of stomata occur such as Graminius or graminoid, meaning grass-like, stomata have two guard cells surrounded by two lens-shaped subsidiary cells. The guard cells are narrower in the middle and bulbous on each end. This middle section is strongly thickened. The axis of the subsidiary cells is our parallel stoma opening. This type can be found in monocot families including Poaceae and Cyperaceae. Hexacidic, meaning six-celled, Stomata have six subsidiary cells around both guard cells, one at either end of the opening of the stoma, one adjoining each guard cell, and one between that last subsidiary cell and the standard epidermis cells. This type can be found in some monocot families. Tetracytic, meaning four-celled, stomata have four subsidiary cells, one on either end of the opening and one next to each guard cell. This type occurs in many monocot families but also can be found in some dicots, such as Tilia and several Asclepiadaceae. In ferns, four different types are distinguished. Hypocytic stomata have two guard cells in one layer with only ordinary epidermis cells, but with two subsidiary cells on the outer surface of the epidermis, arranged parallel to the guard cells, with a pore between them, overlying the stoma opening. Parasitic stomata have two guard cells that are entirely encircled by one continuous subsidiary cell, like a donut. Desmocytic stomata have two guard cells that are entirely encircled by one subsidiary cell that has not merged its ends, like a sausage. Pilocytic stomata have two guard cells that are largely encircled by one subsidiary cell, but also contact ordinary epidermis cells, like AU or horseshoe. A hydathode is a type of pore commonly found in angiosperms that secretes water through a cuticle or leaf margin pore, usually at the tip of a marginal tooth or teeth. 
Hydathodes are found in submerged aquatic plants such as ranunculus and grasses in drier habitats such as Campanula rotundifolia. 2. They are connected to the vasculature of the plant by a vascular bundle. Hydathodes are commonly found in water lettuce, water hyacinth, rose, balsam, and many other species. Hydathodes are a group of living cells that have many water-filled intercellular spaces but little or no chloroplasts and are a modified bundle. Ends these cells, called epithelial cells, 3, open into one or more compartments under the skin. These, in turn, communicate with the outside through open water stomata or open pores. A water stoma is structurally similar to a normal stoma, but is usually larger and has lost its ability to move. Hydathodes participate in the process of dripping, where the positive pressure of the xylem, due to root pressure, causes the secretion of fluid of the brain. Pores, for, some halophytes have glandular trichomes that actively secrete salt to reduce cytoplasmic concentrations of cytotoxic inorganic ions. This can lead to the formation of a white powdery substance on the surface of the leaf. There are two types of hydathodes. Passive hydathodes are formed when a leaf vein ends in the epithelium, area of thin layers. Wald parenchyma, dot active hydathodes, which are formed when epidermal cells actively lose water. Mm -hmm.